So if you're creating an apocalyptic scene, you might need to have some aluminum or tin cans sitting around. And we're gonna create this uh, very simply in Blender, very low poly, and do the texture in Substance Painter. All right, so let's get started here. I'm going to bring in a cylinder and go for something like, well, I'll probably put a subdivision surface on, so I'll go for 20. I'm gonna scale this into Z, get the approximate height that I want. I'm gonna drop an edge loop down the middle and I'm going to get rid of the bottom so that I can mirror this. I'll turn on clipping as well. So there's my tin can so far. Aluminum can, tin can, whatever. All right, I'm gonna select the top face. I'm gonna press I to inset. I'm gonna inset just a little bit. And I'm gonna extrude down a little bit. I'm gonna press I to inset a little bit more. And I'm gonna press E to extrude and pull down some more. All right, so I've got that so far. Now I wanna bring an edge loop up near the top, make a little bit of a, of a lip of sorts. So I'm gonna do that, press three for face selection, shift alt and click here. I'm gonna press E and alt S and push and bring it out so we get that sort of shape. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in. I don't need that edge, I could move it, but I'm just gonna dissolve it, get rid of it. Now I'm gonna select here, here, and here. You know what, I might as well do them all at the same time. I'll select that one as well. And the same thing is happening down at the bottom because of the mirror and I'm going to bevel these, and I'll bevel it just with two this time. Just like like that. Okay, I can try Control-2 or Control-1, and let's turn on the statistics and see how we're doing. It's a little bit high, so let's knock this down. And we've got that so far. Let's apply the mirror, actually. And let's apply the subdivision and come in here and do something with this. Let's select here and come down to the bottom and select there and control plus X vertices. And let's rebuild that just to be a, a face like that. Let's do the same up here, F to, to do that. So I can now come in here and I can get rid of a few other edges if I want. We'll just watch the statistics, you know, consistently going down uh, just getting rid of a few edges I could have maybe saved the mirror and not applied it yet and uh, I might need to let's see maybe we will have one more edge in here to make that stand out just a little bit more Okay, and down here, let's see what we can do as well. Let's get rid of a couple of these edges. Do that. Get rid of a couple of these edges, maybe. Maybe drag in. Whoops, not there. Drag in one more. And see how we're doing. So now we're just under three. We can also get rid of probably these three here. We'll leave those other ones for support. In fact, we'll take those and we'll scale in the Z and just pull them up for a bit more support. And we go with something like that. So here's a tin can so far. All right. And let's switch over to UV editing. And in face selection, I'm gonna select there and there. Control E, mark seam. And then I'm gonna look from the back. I press Control one and go into edge selection and shift alt and click that edge. Control E, mark seam. Select the whole thing and go U, unwrap, and I will get this. Now I'm gonna Control L and just G, move that over to there. Control L, G, just move it over there. Now this piece here, be nice to have this straight. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna press N and I'm gonna use UV squares, just download it, it's free. Download it, install it, and then select, and then press two grid by shape, and that will straighten that out. I'm just gonna scale it down a little bit, make sure that it's in. And I'm gonna take both of these and I'm going to scale them up a little bit as much as I can to just increase their size, because why not? Pull that in, 
and we are ready to go with our tin can aluminum can tin can whatever so now we're going to create an fbx and in substance painter we're going to open that let's create a new project open gl select can video is what i called it okay there it is okay time to bake the mesh maps so over here i'm going to press bake mesh maps i'm going to choose 2k uncheck id and thickness and bake okay let's turn on anti-aliasing and make it look just a little bit better and now the fun will begin texturing this can come over to my layers and i'll switch to my materials and i'll take this aluminum drag that in so we have this come into the properties and i am going to drop the color down a little bit like that maybe bring the roughness up just a little bit okay right click choose filter and choose this matte finish you can play with the settings as much as you want i'm going to turn on triplanar just that'll help to hide the seam and here's our can so far okay so now we want to put that pattern on there so let's do that uh, i'm going to come over here and switch to the 3d and 2d view so these are my uvs and i'll just position that somewhere where i can see it all right so we've got our metal there that's fine all right the next thing we're going to do is create a fill layer and i'm going to use just height i'm going to drop the height all the way down and on here i'm going to add a fill and in the height i'm going to add the tile generator now there's different ways to do this but i'm going to use the tile generator and you can now see that all over my model and that's obviously not what we're going to stick with but it's a good sign that we can see that i'm going to alt click height and now i've got my metal coming through that's obviously not the pattern it looks a little bit like a flashlight handle all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add a black mask and we're going to decide where we want that pattern so i've added a black mask and i'm going to add a paint layer here and i'm going to switch to my alphas and i'm going to choose a square and zoom out a little bit and then control and right mouse button i'm going to increase the size of this and i'm going to draw on this part which is my my main body my can so i'm going to start up around here and i'm going to hold down shift and control and click and drag and click and you can see where it has ended up now you may have to experiment to try and find where's the bottom but don't worry because we can move this that's roughly where I'm going to want it and maybe roughly the size that I'm going to want. So let's work with that, okay? We don't really need the, the UVs anymore. So we've got this, okay? So that's my paint. This is basically just my mask for where I want the tile generator, which is here. In fact, we can change this name to tile generator. All right, it's time to come in here and start putting in some values for this. I'm going to use for my position, I'm going to try a value about 0.78. And actually, before we get too involved with numbers, we might as well change the pattern so we can start seeing it. So here where it says pattern type, I'm going to switch this to image input. Scroll down, and this is where we bring in a custom image. I'm going to come to my procedurals and type gradient or start typing it. This gradient linear three, I'm going to drag that in and we see this. Doesn't look like much yet. Let's come back up here to projection, switch this to triplanar. I can turn off the manipulator. Now you're starting to see where we're where we're going with this. Alright, so I have got my position set, and now we come into to the transform. I'm going to take the number in X and I'm going to bring that all the way down. That's one. And the number in Y, I'm going to bring up, I'm going to start with 20. And we'll just see how, how we do with, with that. We can change that number, obviously. And then you can play with the scale a little bit. So let's see what happens if we start bringing this up. Let's see, it starts sort of softening up a little bit like that. So you decide what you like. All right. And that is most of what you want to do it's a couple other filters to add you can play a little bit with this balance 
So I might do that. You can play with the position here. I think I'm liking that. So now, there's our tile generator. Let's add on top of that a filter. And the filter I'm gonna choose is I'm gonna choose the blur filter. So watch the lines. All right, changed a little bit. Let's try bringing this up. And that sort of smooths it out a little bit. Uh, we can come up here, we can make this 2K. And this is the effect that we're basically getting. All right, so it's just a sense of, you know, playing with these values until you get something that you like. Coming back to the tile generator, playing around perhaps with the number. Let's try 22. All right, we've added a little bit more. Let's have a look at the scale, see what we can do with that. Bring it up and bring it down. Maybe we want a little bit more room in there like that. All right. And um, that's pretty much creating that pattern there. So we can call these the lines if you want. And then we can add some dirt on top of it, use a fill, just do color for now. Change this to a dark brown, maybe. Add a black mask and just use the generator. Maybe I'll put on triplanar. So now we have some dirt there. All right. And if you want to do a pattern on the top, you can. I'm going to switch to orthographic and snap to the top. We could look at that. Let's say this is our dirt layer right here. And let's make sure I snap to it. Um, I will add, I'll just do it as a paint layer. All right, I'm going to use, let's say just height. I'll drop it down halfway because I'm not sure how it's gonna look yet. So I'll come to my alphas and I'll look for circle. And I'm gonna go for this circle double. Increase the size of that. And let's see, I may have to go a little higher, but we're gonna adjust some values too. And so let's say if I'm around there. All right, let's go in here and let's see, I've got circle out and in. Mm. Okay, I've got something there. Let's, uh, you can do this on the bottom as well. Let's go back to perspective F to frame it. All right, that's not too bad. So let's see. What if we were to add a filter? Let's try that filter blur. Let's see if we can get anything. Kind of like that better. It almost seems like it blends with, with the top a little bit more. Uh, let's try that and then, um, well, there's no real dirt going on there. So let's, let's take this, uh, I'm just going to call it top. I'm going to pull it under the dirt and I'm going to add an anchor point to it. Come back to my dirt and in the dirt generator, I'm going to scroll down to micro details and for height, because we're using height, I'm going to choose true. And down here, micro height, I'm gonna choose anchor point top. And then I'm gonna switch the reference channel to height. And now we get some of that dirt on our circles as well. And if you want, you can come into the levels and you can play around with these values until you get a slightly better result, if that's what you need. And we have our can. Let's try this in a different lighting scenario. Let's go for this one maybe. It'll look a little bit like my image. And we've got a low poly can with all that detail done in texture. You can add rust, you can add imperfections and scratches and on all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's what I wanted to show you right there. All right, so see you next time.